are back from the historic Tower of London as we continue our royal wedding coverage. And with us is CBS News Royal contributor Victoria Arbiter with uh, the latest on all the excitement, the anticipation, the preparation. Uh, some of the biggest news this morning involving the bride who was spotted at Westminster Abbey. She is. She was Well, she was spotted back there this morning. We had no idea that Kate would be back there this morning. It's definitely going to be the last glimpse we have of her before the big morning tomorrow. But what I was really pleased to see with the pictures that were taken, Kate looks like she's finally having some fun. She looked relaxed. She looked rosy. She looked jolly. She looked like a blushing bride. And the last time we saw her in an official capacity was up in Lancashire, where everyone was sort of talking about her weight. She looked stressed. She looked tired. It, it looked like it was getting to her a bit. So I'm delighted to see that she's clearly having a blast. She also looks gorgeous. And there's, there's a new picture that was released this morning. It's a oh. picture of her and William, sort of their new official photograph. And the two of them just look so happy. I think we have it to pop up and show folks. There it is. It's just a gorgeous picture of a couple that appears to be in love. It's radiant, isn't it? I mean, it's just a stunning picture. Mario Testino doesn't take a bad picture, and clearly neither do these two. I think William really looks like Diana in this picture he as does. well, doesn't he? But it's lovely. Just You can see the joy emanating from them. If there's any doubters still out there, you have only to look at this picture and you can be convinced. Yeah, and we, um, he, Mario Testino is going to be at the photographer, will be at the wedding. We should mention, too, that Kate was there this morning, but she and William were there last night for rehearsal. That was generating a lot of excitement. You last night were in Trafalgar Square, where you saw some of the final preparations for these giant screens that are being put up for people to watch. They are huge. And what's so funny, this is how excited people are at this point. They were taking pictures of the workmen putting screens up. <laughs> like when the flower trucks arrived at Westminster Abbey the other night, they were taking pictures of the trucks. All the preparations have been so private behind the scenes that people can really feel like they're involved now. And this anticipation that's building is phenomenal. Anything left to do at this point, would you think, or is everything taken care of? I'm hoping they can all just sit and take a breather at this point. There's definitely behind the scenes, everything will be ready. You know, it's the Lord Chamberlain's job to make sure that everything is organized with military precision, it's done. So now that they've had the bridesmaids rehearsal this morning, I hope they're going to put their feet up and just enjoy. Uh, the program was released this morning, which is how we learned that Kate will not be saying obey in her vows, just as Diana did not. Anything else in that program that really stood out to you? It's fairly lengthy. It is fairly lengthy. What was really nice is generally the Archbishop of Canterbury is responsible for doing a message right at the beginning of a program, but William and Kate felt strongly enough that they wanted to thank everybody for the support they've had. They're literally bringing the country if not the world, to a standstill tomorrow. And so to see them thank everyone and appreciate the affection they've received was really quite charming. You've been on this story for us since the very beginning, Victoria. We moved you over here to London for a little <laughs> while, away from your family. Yeah. Uh, quickly, what are you most looking forward to on the day? I'm so glad we've still got surprises. I love that Kate's kept this dress a surprise. We have no idea what to expect. The kiss on the balcony, it's just been such a privilege to witness it firsthand. I can't wait to get the party started. And you and I will have a front row seat because we will be sitting at Buckingham Palace tomorrow, watching it all, along with Rachel Johnson. So we look forward to seeing you a little bit later today, of course, and also tomorrow. And just a reminder, our complete wedding coverage here on CBS kicks off at 4 a.m. Eastern Time with Katie Couric, who will be perched above Westminster Abbey. So we'll have all of that coming up for you right here on CBS.